Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make and install your very own heavy bag slip bar, AKA the bob and weave. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I have my Um, this is the, the cheapest way to go about doing it if you don't want to pay full price for like a rival bobbin weave or a tidal um, slip noodle. So um, these two items is what you can purchase if you already have this at your home, even better. First is you're going to need a foam pool noodle like you see here. I got this on Amazon. And also this nylon strap that comes with the quick the quick clip. So you're going to have the, the male end and then the female end. Obviously these are going to connect together. This is what's going to wrap around your heavy bag and that's going to these uh the foam pull noodle is going to attach to this um we're going to cut through it we're going to push it right through and uh, then you'll have your little slip bar uh, i'll put the link in the description box where you can get both of these and have these shipped to your home so first things first um get your, your utility knife um mine came in a 56 inch arm i actually just pre-cut it this uh this foam is super lightweight open cell foam um, your knife will cut right through this just like butter. So what you want to end up doing is getting the clip. Doesn't matter if it's the male or female end, you can get the male end. And you want to go in about, I'd say an inch. And you want to cut the length of the clip. So, I mean, if you want to go super accurate with it, you can use a measuring tape. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then you also wanna go about the thickness of the clip so when you slide it through, it doesn't end up breaking this foam. If you go through and you just cut a slit like you see here, what's gonna happen when you push this through is gonna end up cracking the foam around it. So you wanna get that about the, the, the length of the clip and you wanna get about the width of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that, that length. And then, like I said, I, I kinda eyeballed it already. I'm going to kind of cut through here, just taking my time, and then cut out a section. Again, they're not like in an art contest. I don't have to make it super pretty. It just has to be functional. I'm going to cut that little section out. Hopefully I got it. And there you have it. You can kind of clean it up, but the whole purpose of it is so that this clip can kind of go through. Then you're going to rotate it and basically do it on the other side. Again, just kind of eyeballing where it's gonna be at on the opposite end. And uh, from here, just kind of cut it open. I'm gonna use my clip again, just to kind of eyeball the length of it. Could hold it up there, you could use a marker, completely up to you. I'm just gonna use my eyes to kind of eyeball it. And again, just the same, same thing, kind of cut it twice. Kind of get the length that you want. You can see how, how lightweight and cheap this foam is, so there's really not much to it in terms of cutting. This is really easy to cut. And then just kind of reach in and... So there you have it. And that's basically the clips is gonna go right through this foam and uh, be able to connect through it. The beauty of this is that with this nylon cord, you can actually attach multiple of these uh, pool noodles. So I'm gonna actually put two through here. I already pre-cut one earlier that I'm gonna put. So I'm actually gonna have two set up. You can actually do like three or four and you have them kind of spaced around your heavy bag so you have multiple um, slip bars. So it's kind of it kind of works out nice. And the fact that you can cut it, it makes it easier. It just makes it really convenient. So from here, all you have to do, is just slide this clip through carefully. You want to be careful because you don't want to end up breaking the foam. So you might just have to just use your fingers in there to kind of work it through the foam. That way you don't end up ripping it. And again, this is probably the, the hardest part of the whole process is just getting it through here without damaging the foam. You can see it kind of tears a little there. I could probably could have cut that a little bit better, but whatever, just to show you guys. Push it through. Take time. All right, come on. Almost there. We're almost at the finish line. Get that little 
piece out. And it's kind of sliding it in, sliding in. And get that in there. Try my best to do this without breaking the foam. There you go. So there you have it, it's in there. And again, this is what's going to uh, connect to the heavy bag and clip onto it. And um, then you'll have your, your slip bar. So I'm gonna uh, connect two of them on here and then we're gonna go ahead and put this on the heavy bag and, and see how it works. All right, guys, so we have my pool noodle set up here on this nylon strap with this cl uh, quick clip on here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this around the heavy bag, snap it on there and adjust it as needed. So as you can see, this basically will just go on here. And what I was talking about earlier is that if you go too far down with the cuts down the noodle, this is gonna sit against the heavy bag and you want it to kind of sit flush against it so uh, if you go too far in, this nylon strap is going to have this big gap between the strap and the actual heavy bag surface. So just be mindful of that. You don't want to go too far with the cut. I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it around the bag like you see here. Quick click it into place. And then I can tighten it and adjust it as needed. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. I can get it to the height I want it. So now there you have it. Everything is nice and tight. You can adjust the tightness however you want to. Um, you can also move the slip arms to the angle you want. I mean, you can essentially do four and have four different quadrants to work on with this. Now. Like I mentioned in the rival Bob and Lee video that I did, the downside to this is that um, it's gonna take up a portion of your heavy bag up here. So if you're gonna be shooting any kind of jabs, any kind of shots up here, be mindful if you do hit the strap that it might mess around with the adjustment or the height level of this. Um, so just be mindful of that. I, I notice that when I'm using it, I'm kind of keeping my pad level a little bit lower. I know it's a football term, but keeping my, my pad level lower and bending my knees in. And it's good for working the medium to lower the intermittent shot, intermittent, you know, the intermediate shots right down here, down to the body. And really, you know, beneficial for working defensive movement and getting used to moving your head, not just staying upright in the line of fire, but forcing you to, to slip, maybe slipping with a jab or coming underneath with a body shot down below while, while you bob underneath their shot. So it's really nice to have that. Boom, you can bob underneath that, come around here, boom, boom. Go again, work this side. So you're basically working angles with this. So, you know, you could do two, you could do one, you could do three, you could do four, it just depends on however you, might, you want to do. But it's a really nice, inexpensive setup. I think it works really well. I have the rival Bob and Weave over here which is obviously much better quality. It's also much more expensive, but it pretty much does the same thing. Um, and if you want to definitely save some money and then go with the pool noodle setup and you can add more to it. Um, I'll make sure to put the link in the description box for both this nylon strap and the pool noodles. If you already have them in your household, even better, save you some money, but this works out great. And I, I really enjoy using this. Uh, for my own personal home gym. And also the good thing about this is that you can um, take this with you to the gym. You know, if the gym is cool with it, you can take this with you to the gym, put it in your gym bag and uh, hook it up to the heavy bag while you're working out at your gym and just have yourself a nice little extra apparatus. Another thing before I get off with you guys is you'll have some extra nylon strap right here. So what I'm planning on doing with this, because there's extra, instead of just kind of bunching it up in between here, is I'm just gonna get like a rubber band and just kind of put the band around it or a clip to clip it on here. That way it kind of keeps it out of the way. 
Um, so just be mindful of that. The clip here and everything is going to be here. So it's going to, again, occupy this section of the heavy, heavy bag. So you can still hit it. Just be mindful that that clip is going to be there. But uh, for the intention of, of being able to bob and weave, move your head, um, it's definitely a great device to use. It helps you work on your defense, getting underneath shots, keeping your, keeping your, your eyes at a good level, not dropping your eyes, keeping your shoulders at a nice angle, working on that. Shifting, getting underneath shots. So, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find all of this. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.